Watching today's winners and losers on Wall Street with our financial expert Rob Black. We're going to start with mortgage rates, and I guess this one's going to be a loser. We've seen a real spike in mortgage rates, making it a little less affordable to get a home these days. You were saying it perfectly. There was a spike, and then it started to settle down a little bit, but now it's starting to creep back up. A 30-year mortgage, and this is not a jumbo, is jumbo is now 4.39%. A year ago, is 3.55%. Um, that was interesting. <laughs> I was like, did he buy a house? Probably. Uh, if you bought a house in the last year, you're okay, but it's becoming less affordable, and we saw that in the new home sales June contracts. A lot of people canceled. This is something the Fed's going to have to watch. They want to keep rates low so that it keeps the part of the economy chugging. If people freeze up with higher interest rates and 4.5%, is not high. If people freeze up here, that's a bad sign. Okay. And uh, watching with a Google and Motorola. We'll see if this is going to pay out today. Yeah, you know, um, Google bought Motorola, and everyone was like, okay, let's see something wow. And we, we're not going to get wow. We're going to get a mid-range phone, a $400 phone. It's cool. You'll shift your hand, and your camera will come on. It, it's got some sensors. Motorola has always done hardware very, very well. Um, that's kind of debatable, but they do hardware well. You have to take my word on that. This is going to be the high-end saturated. That's not what they want to do. That's Samsung and Apple's playground. They're going after the mid-range, which would make the carriers at and and Verizon very, very happy. And uh, it, it makes me happy because it's a closed system. It's a Google system. I don't like the Samsung tweaks. I don't like the Verizon tweaks. Uh, I, I'm going to be interested to see this. This yeah. is a nice step in the right direction I'm today. To see it the as Moto well. X. The Moto X. And Facebook stock been on the rise, and it looks like uh, now with ads and the eyeballs they have, they could be doing even better shortly. It turns out that during prime time, they can hit more people, 18 to 24, than television can. That's stunning. Uh, again, the story is starting to get some stickiness. They're going to try to sell commercials, 15-second commercial, all days targeted um, for more than a Super Bowl commercial. I like the story of Facebook. I don't like it at these prices. I would like a dip. But uh, long term, I think it's going to accumulate. And we're talking about Apple, and uh, I know uh, a lot of kids are using those uh, in game apps. This causes some trouble uh, for Apple with the in game purchases. Eight year old kid ran up a $6,000 bill <laughs> on her dad's that. phone. Um, so be careful. It's a pretty horse. It's my horse. <laughs> um, my kids, you know, I love it, but you got to watch those in app uh, experiences and the costs that are tied towards them. $6,000. Apple did the right thing and refunded it. But a lot of Americans don't realize those little micropayments can add up, especially in the hands of a child. It does. You know, my son, can I get a free app? Sure. Oh, five minutes later, can I spend $10 for gem bears? No. <laughs> what are gem bears? I don't know. There's some bears for the gems. I want one. So weird. <laughs> I want a horse. Give me 10 bucks. I'll give them to you. I want a horse, too. And you can catch Rob Black segments of the Crawford Morning News as well as on our 24-7 Bay Area News Channel, Comcast 193. We'll be right back.